Welcome to the channel, folks. Welcome back if you've been here before. I'm Don. This is Rockin' the Country. Emmy Lou Harris, you saw the title, To Daddy. Uh, it was requested by Cap'n Corey's Political, and then there was more after it, but I didn't write all that down. But Cap'n Corey's Political Channel or something? Uh, in any case, shout out to you. And you said this was written by Dolly Parton. So... Let's see what Emmy Lou sings, courtesy of Dolly's writing. Here we go. To Daddy, yikes. Mama never seemed to miss the finer things of life. If she did, she never did say so to Daddy. She never wanted to be more than mother she did, she never did say so to daddy. Wow. The only thing that seemed to be important in her life was to make our house a home and make us happy. Mama never wanted any more than what she had. If she did, she never did say so. Often left her all alone. And she didn't mind the staying home. She, uh. she never did say so to daddy. And she never missed the flowers and the cards he never sent her. If she did, she never did say so to daddy. Ouch, this is brilliant writing. Being though. took for granted was a thing that she accepted. All right. In the end, does she leave without saying so to Daddy? I wonder. And she didn't seem to notice that he didn't kiss and hold her. If she did, yeah. she never did say so to Daddy. One morning we awoke just to find a note. Man, that song packs a punch in a, pff, two minutes and 45 seconds. Um, Emmy Lou, of course, pulled that off. I almost felt like I was listening to Dolly in the very beginning. For like about the first five seconds, it almost sounded like Dolly. And um, But, I mean, the lyrics, I mean, that's just beautiful. It's very bright writing, if you will. Very insightful writing, the way you could twist it too in the end where you're like yeah she put up with it put up with it put up with it put up with it but didn't have the love that she needed and you know she suffered silently but in the end she stopped suffering and i love that she had written the kids are old enough you know they they're old enough i mean and the mom knew that it would be hard on them that the that she wouldn't be there but she had to do what she felt she had to do because it's very hard to live a loveless life and unappreciated. He didn't hold her, and you've got to do that. There's just something so important about that touch, you know. So your spouse walks in the house, you know. I mean, life gets really busy and all that stuff, but like a hug or a touch, whatever, just even a little thing, even if it's so busy and the kids are crazy and all that stuff or whatever and work, it's still so important to have just some of those moments 
in your day, but she didn't know if he was out cheating and, and there just was, you know, she was a baby maker. That was it that, you know, and she wanted to be more than that. She wanted to be loved as a woman and he wasn't supplying that. And that's the story we have. And that was a, a classic Dolly story. So, all right. Cap and Corey's special, no, Cap and Corey's political something. I'm going to rate this. Gosh, that surprises me. The number that popped into my head was a 9.2. It captured a sliver of life about suffering silently. But then you stop suffering silently, and then the suffering goes to the other side. It goes to him at that point. Like, wow, he thought he had it. He thought he had everything under control, and he didn't because he wasn't given love. And we need that. We're social beings. We we get married for love. That's a big part of why we do it, to go through life with someone. But the love, the like, the, the believing in one another, the sh shared and cherished moments, and she wasn't having that. So it's very sad in that regard. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a sad song, but I guess it was one where maybe her life turned around and she was happy. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. Yeah.